Hi there, welcome back to LK Art YouTube channel. My name is Lily and I'm setting up my dragon bike for the second cross-country trip this year. I am excited to go to the National Bikers Roundup 2022. It is the largest camping motorcycle rally in the United States of America and is organized by a group of African-American motorcycle clubs. Its location changes every year, and now it's rolling in Gonzales, Louisiana. From LA to LA round trip for round up. Sounds pretty cool, huh? By the way, I feel more confident on the road thanks to Shark Squad motorcycle attorneys. Why? Because these guys are bikers and they always ride by biker's side, making sure we are safe and protected in case something happens on the road. Call now for free consultation. Alright, let's talk about my plans. I'm gonna meet my friends in Zachary, Louisiana. Their motorcycles are trailed and should be delivered by my arrival. My plan is taking I-40 through Flagstaff, doing some sightseeing, and then taking down road 287 to visit my favorite Fort Worth stockyards on the way. This way is always challenging by temperature ups and downs, but according to Google, the best places to see are on this direction. So. I'm ready for obstacles. First thing on my list are museums in Kingman, Arizona. Unbelievable! I paid just 5 bucks for the ticket and I can visit a couple more museums for free. Is this real? Historical Road 66. Couple more pictures. Uh oh, clouds, clouds. From 98 degrees, temperature dropped to 60. Moreover, Looks like it's going to rain. I have to cover the air filter first. Ready for hail? Hell no. Cars are pulling over. I don't move my bike either. I would love to have an umbrella though. Anybody give me a tent, please? Literally, it hurts. It's quite painful to be uncovered in hail. Soon it will get bigger. Let's just skip this part. I'm on the road again. Fully soaked. <laughs> Freezing. A cup of hot tea would be so nice. Well, long trips are not always about having fun. But usually I try to keep positive mood. Tears and fears are staying only in backstage. Let's visit Selling Man, Arizona on the road 66. Old school cafes, cars. I feel like I'm a time traveler suddenly pushed 60s button. Okay, I'm booking a hotel here. Love this place. Gotta wake up early because weather prediction doesn't promise a fun ride in Flagstaff. My goal is passing it by 10 a.m. to avoid another hailstorm. And my next destination is Twin Arrows. Oh, sad. My condolences for the fallen arrow. Okay, let's give it some artistic move. I can hold it for half an hour, well, maybe a little bit more, but definitely it's not a solution. These guys need serious restoration. 
moving forward to the next cool place on I-40. Meteor Crater Nature Landmark. If you go this direction, this natural museum is a must to visit. From I-40, you just exit 233, right about 5 miles, and you'll be amazed by seeing a huge print on the ground of just a tiny molecule from the endless space. I get goosebumps each time I feel the power of universe. This is amazing. Wow. It took just 10 seconds and Meteor Crater was formed. All right, let's continue. Temperature is pretty comfortable for riding. I want to stay in Albuquerque, New Mexico today. As a matter of fact, I could go further. But currently it's raining in the next cities. Thus, better to be safe than sorry, right? Now let's explore Santa Rosa, New Mexico. It appears to me the major sightseeing of this city is the Blue Hole. Technically it's a lake, but when you get there don't be surprised to see a small spot filled with water like a pool. However, it's a natural tiny lake also known as Blue Lake. It is one of seven sister lakes connected underground by a vast system of water. The Blue Hole is so clean that it's considered as one of the most popular dive destinations in the United States of America for scuba diving and training. The water temperature is 62 degrees. It's perfect to jump into the water when it's hot. But now it's a little bit chilly and I see people shaking when they get out of the water. However, I want to seem brave and jump too. Um, well, maybe I'm not that brave. What if I try to go in little by little? Jeez, feels like my feet are numbing. How all these people could get there? Nah, it's not for me. <laughs> Maybe I'll come back next year in a hot, hot day and try again. Honestly, I like comfort. This kind of extreme and cold shock isn't for my body at all. I prefer this. That's what I'm talking about. I've got a good rest and now I'm taking 287 freeway towards Dallas. On the way, I have two places to visit, Wichita Falls and Fort Worth. Wichita Falls is a city in Texas founded in 1876. It was named for the Wichita Indians and the low water river falls that existed there until 1886, when they were washed away by a flood. Wow, it's a beautiful place to visit. <clears throat> It's so extremely beautiful that suddenly I feel high. All right. Now I'm good to go to Fort Worth Stockyards. Temperature has got extremely higher. 
literally I am dehydrating. Nevertheless, I have my own tested way to deal with riding in the heat, which is much better than wearing a cooling vest. Better than cooling vest. Also, here is another hack in case you lose a button until you get a chance to fix it properly. I like having zip locks with me, they are super multifunctional. <laughs> Thank you. Guys! If you want to see historic Texas in its cowboy hat and boots glory, the Fort Worth stockyards are well worth a day trip. It has a free parking, you enter a full covered area with shops and restaurants. Also, it's a good idea to visit this place on weekends, because they have performing actors in the station. Moreover, Every day at 11.30 a.m. and 4 p.m. You can be present at Longhorn Cattle Drive in the Fort Worth Stockyards and feel yourself as a part of a cowboy movie scene. I'm in Dallas right now, looking for the giant eyeball. I parked my bike in the street for an hour and soon <laughs> I'll find a parking ticket on my bike <laughs> because I'll be late for a few minutes. Well, things happen, never mind. Let's focus on eyeball. Wow, it's huge. And so impressive. It's a pity they closed access to the statue, but I still can see the eyeball blood vessels. <laughs> it looks healthy, in a good shape, no broken blood vessels, no visible damage on sclera, pupil and iris. I still don't have access to see optic nerve and I really hope it's okay too. <laughs> Louisiana most beautiful green state and probably most rainy one in the United States of America within my visited state so far this picture is getting worse sorry I don't have the video but I can tell how it looked behind the scene soon I will not be able to see the white lanes on the road I'll be riding like in the river and my windshield will be looking like the Wichita Falls the best thing in that situation should be pulling over, but it will be no stopping anytime area on the bridge. Twice I could hit the wall, and twice I got into the opposite direction. Whatever. After four long days, I finally made it to my hotel in Zachary, Louisiana. All right, so I'm in Zachary, Louisiana. Um, it's 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 not that far from Gonzales, where uh, the actual bike week is going on. Um, I'm in Zachary to meet my friends. This is the garage of all custom bikes. 
There you go. Nice works. I watch the news and <laughs> the weather is terrible. Flash floods here and there. Um, some vehicles are stuck in traffic and in the streets. They cannot move, uh, so it's not the best idea to ride motorcycles uh, on that direction. You get a car blowing through there like this idiot in the red truck. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking about actually trying to get there because uh, <laughs> I rode from California to Louisiana to see what's going on in Gonzales this year um, at the National Bikers Roundup 2022. Let's go and see. If, if I cannot make it, I can always uh, turn around and come back to Zachary and wait till tomorrow. Although the National Weather Center warned that uh, it's the same tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. At least I'm gonna try it. Please mention in the comments below your favorite bike event in the United States. Maybe I'll pack my bags and ride there next. Where are you, Bear? Uh, we in uh, Louisiana, you know what I mean, at the Roundup. So what kind of event is this? This is the Roundup. It's, uh, it's, a, it's an event that goes on every year in a different state. You know, it's like a hundred black motorcycle clubs get together. You know what I mean? They do this every year, celebrate, represent each other, show motorcycle love. You know what I mean? It's like a black circus. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. But actually, it's not only for black people, no, right? it's not. It's Look for at everybody. This. Look it's at for, this. It's for everybody. Yeah, yeah. It's for everybody. For everybody. But that's how it started. You know what I mean? That's, that's how it started. You know what I mean? But it's for everybody. It's love. Look gotcha. around. How are you, Meg? I'm great, because you here. <laughs> Where's my BFF? Where is he? He, he's right here. Can you tell about this event? So you're the dragon well, this is the... Yes. From the Lord of the Rings. Uh, last <laughs> year. <laughs> this is the National Bike Roundup. It's in Gonzales, Louisiana. And as you can see, everybody got their fifth wheels, their RVs, their bike. As you can see, it's going to get turned up. It's, it's a party. It's like everybody out here is all family. You're going to see. Gotcha. Everybody's feeding you, getting you drunk. No vegetarian food. No vegetarian food. Right Damn, it's not going to be hot. <laughs> but don't worry about it. We're going to make up for it with my mom because I already told her. Oh, really? Make sure we have some stuff vegetarian for my wow, girl Lily. Wow, that's know impressive. What I'm Thank you so, so much. You're so you. sweet. We got you covered. Yay. Not going to be until Yay. Sunday, but we got you covered. No doubt. No doubt. <laughs> it is the first year that you're uh, attending uh, no, this I've event. No, I've attended them before. Bear and I and Rolex, uh -huh. we've all in, uh, attended them before 2019 in Gulfport, Mississippi, Biloxi. So we have done last year was in uh, Atlanta. So this year, every year is in a different state. If you are in SoCal and wondering where to get a real Louisiana food, I can tell ya, in Mom's house. Delicious food from Mom's recipe book, live music on weekends, and great customer service. It's Wednesday and people are still gathering. Day by day, the venue is getting more crowded. On weekend, it's packed. 
bitch that we spend was on real to me, girl. That's all my promise to give you the world. Diamonds be shining, you dripping in pearls. You're lying, lying, you know you're my world. Girl, I can't pass up on my love. They did it, you like I need my California. This is an up. Run into you, the one. And it's raining again. Run into you, the one. Yes. We have a perfect climate for riding in Cali. But you guys have lower prices on gas in Louisiana. I'm taking a ride through the campground to show you how big is the place. This is how it looks during the daytime. Sorry, I have to speed it up. And this is nightlife of the campground. It's huge! You can easily get lost. Is this the way to go out? You don't know? My girl Christina! Hi! Hi Lily! Nice, nice to meet you! Let's go bike! If in the noon the campground looks peaceful, in the night it's getting wild. Funk and soul mood is all over the place. Now, let's take a look at vendors' booths.
Let's go to New Orleans! By the way, did I mention that I appreciate your subscriptions to my YouTube channel? I really do! It's important for growth of this channel, so please just hit the subscribe button and enjoy the rest of the video. New Orleans always has a great energy. We just added some colors by shutting down the Bourbon Street with Motorcycle Art Parade. People are incredibly nice, happy, smiling, dancing, having fun. So much love here. Last time, on my cross-country trip, I didn't have enough time to taste beignets in Café du Monde. This time, it's a must. Hmm, oh well. Honestly, I don't understand what the bus is all about this place for. Believe me, we have better beignets places in Los Angeles. Whatsoever, I found a positive thing. After Café du Monde, my English improved a little bit more. Instead of saying New Orleans, now I say New Orleans. I think it's time to add some engine oil to my beast. <laughs> One quart isn't enough? <laughs> In the National Bikers Roundup, my Dragonator has got so much love. There are hundreds of custom bikes and I'm afraid I have to make another video showing all those best vehicles of the event. The link just popped up on the right corner of your screen. This is Dragonator. 
This is shark skin, which is protected by shark squad motorcycle attorneys. On this trip, I rode from California to Louisiana to participate in the National Bikers Roundup 2022. On my way back home, I met these lovely ladies and felt how strong is sisterhood within female bikers. They are also heading home to San Diego and they saw my Dragonator at the bike week. This was an unforgettable adventure. A super cool bike week. I really had great time. Write in the comments below which events you would like to see on my YouTube channel. This was a really cool trip. See you soon. Thanks for watching.